what's up guys we were talking about the Arrhenius equation which is this one it's the one that relates this empirical value with this multiplication of exponentials the activation energy the temperature and it gives you essentially the rate constant so what's this value we've seen what's a we've seen what's e r and t but what's this letter e it's the activation energy for that specific reaction and it's the minimum energy that must be input to a chemical system with a potential reactants let's say a plus b you know they can react so they are potential reactants and if you get this energy or activation energy they will cause a chemical reaction so they will form c the activation energy of this reaction is usually denoted as ea which is activation energy of activation or activation energy and it's generally measured either by joules per mole or kilojoules per mole. Catalysts are used to lower this energy. So that's a good thing. We're going to see some graphs regarding that. And just to let you know, it improves the speed or the time of reaction. It lowers EA. So if you have, I don't know, 1000 and you got this new catalyst, well, maybe you get it lower to 100, which is 10 times uh, lower. And this is very graphic. I want you, maybe you got these reactants, but you need to first put some, a little bit energy. And once you have this energy, they can go here. They can react. But this little, let's say, slope here is the energy. And, okay, this is a silly image, but let's go to an actual graph. You got, let's say, A, B, and C. A and B, C are going to be reacted. These are the reactants. And the normal pathway will be this one over here. Okay. And the transition state is here, A to B. So you know that you need to break this bond and you need to form this bond. And that causes energy to either be lost or gained. But let's say you gain energy when you break this, but how do you start to break that they don't want to break their self they are here they're happy to be joined to the all together so you need to input some energy to say hey guys let's break up and form a new reaction or a new reactant and the thing here is that you will need to waste all this energy all this activation energy and then you get the final products but the thing here is that catalysts or in this case enzymes lower this let's say this slope this energy they tell you no let's go maybe they twist the reactants into a better way in which letter a may enter here and it's easier for them to react and therefore the energy is lower so you can see the progress of reaction here and you can see the free energy and see how they react this is one graph this is other graph I got this is the energy this is the progress of reaction if you have no enzyme or no catalyst, well, you will need a lot of energy to start that. And that means also time, not only energy, but time. And if you have a catalyst, well, you're going to lower that. It's going to be faster and the same products look. What I want to tell you is that at the end, you have the same energy. So you only affect this here and this here. But the final energy of the products is going to be the same. Either you use a catalyst or not. Same here. You got this huge mountain, normal activation energy. And what the enzyme or what the catalyst do is they lower this. They push here. So it is easier to convert it. And that's essentially everything, guys. That's don't worry about the value or these differences. Uh, we're not going to see that right now. I just wanted to tell you that the activation energy, what's, what it is, uh, I mean, what's activation energy and what or why do we lower it with the catalyst. We're going to see an uh, exercise in the next video. We're going to calculate, use the Arrhenius equation, and you will see that it's not that difficult. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy, so if you like the video, why not push the like button? 
it really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.